Hi, it's Ms. Parrott, and this is a quick video on how to make a pie chart. In order to make a pie chart, you're going to need a pencil, a protractor, and a calculator. Let's get started. So let's assume that you went out to the pond and took data on how many of all the different kinds of animals you saw, and then you calculated the percentage. So in this case, I saw 40% 40 40 of the animals I saw were fish, 30% were birds, 20% were reptiles, and 10% were mammals. So if I wanted to represent that in a pie chart, I would need to convert these percents into degrees, and then use the degrees to make the different pieces of pie. So step one, figure out your degrees. There are 360 degrees in a circle, so when we add all these up, it should equal 360. Now, how do I do that? I will do 40% of 360, which is, if I'm gonna write that as some numbers here, I would write 0 0.4, because that's 40% as a decimal, of 360. So my calculator, I'll do 0 0.4 times 360, and that's gonna give me 144. 144 degrees. Then birds, 30%. I would do the same kind of thing. The 30% is 0 0.3. I'll multiply that by 360 is 108. 20% 0 0.2 of or times 360 is 72 degrees. And 10% I don't even need my calculator for is 36 degrees. And if I added all those up, it would equal 360. So that's the first step. Figure out your degrees. Thank you, calculator. Now it's time to use our protractor. You'll be given a circle. What you need to do is draw a dot at the center of the circle. And then take your straight edge and draw a line from that dot to the outer edge of the circle. All right, now that's kind of our starting line. Let's start with our largest piece here and 40% is gonna be 144 degrees. So I will line up this center point with the dot that I drew and then this line that I drew will line up with zero. So I'll move that. So that should like overlap and it does. <clears throat> so we start at zero, we wanna go to 144. So zero, we're looking at the inside numbers. Be sure you're looking at the correct numbers. Zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 150. So it would be like somewhere in between. So that's 145, a little less. We'll draw a dot here. Now, it's okay that it's outside of the circle because all we're gonna do now is connect these two dots with our straight edge and draw a line from the center to the outside as if it were gonna connect. If your line extends beyond, it's not a big deal, but you'll just have to erase it later. And this is a 40% wedge and it represents the number of fish. So I'll write fish inside. To make the next pie piece, my new line has become my baseline. So I will line my center up with the dot here, line my new line up with zero. Now I wanna go 108 degrees, zero to 90 is right there in the middle, 90, 100. 110 is here, so 108 is going to be a little bit inside of there, right there. I'll line my two dots up and draw a line. This is 30%. Now, if you are like, I don't know, these look kind of weird, um, 
We know if this fish one is 40%, then everything that's left is 60, so these should be about equal. And they are. Um, if it looks weird, remeasure. So this is our birds. Now, we have our new line, is our new baseline to make our 20% reptiles pie piece. Line this up, zero. So 20% is 72 degrees and zero, da, 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 six, uh, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 is right here. So 72 is a little bit past that, like there. Good. And my dots should line up. All right, this dot with this one. And this is my 20%, and it should be about twice as big as this one. And it is. So this is reptiles. And this last one is mammals. Now, It should be 10%, but you can always measure just to be sure. So it should be 36, right? 36 degrees. And if I line it up and I look at this line there, it's coming pretty close. It's around 40. I mean, when you're hand doing these and using a protractor, it's a little, uh, you know, you do your best. But this is a nice uh, representation. Everything's clearly labeled. I have a nice title at the top. I could color in the pie pieces to differentiate as well. But that's a basic tutorial of how to use a protractor to make a pie chart.